I'm Loren Marola, and joining us today on Ask the Team Experts is Dr. Daniel Cannell. Dr. Cannell is the medical director of sports medicine and an orthopedic surgeon at Broward General Medical Center and Imperial Point Medical Center. He also serves for team physicians for a lot of South Florida professional sports teams. It's great to have you with us today. Thank you, Lauren. Now, you've worked with these athletes for decades, and you have a pretty impressive list of who's who on who you've worked with, not only locally, but nationally as well. And it's really incredible that people right here in South Florida can come and see someone in the field that is as respected as you are. Thank you. Now, today we're going to be talking about torn meniscus, and I know that it's one of the more common knee injuries. Is that correct? Yes. It's very common, particularly in the young athlete and as we get a little bit older and we have some degenerative changes in the meniscus itself. Anytime there's a rotational type of an injury and it's frequent and it's one of the probably the most common orthopedic uh, injury that we treat. So now are athletes at a higher risk for this injury? Yes, because of usually in the contact sports in particular, but a lot of times the forceful rotation the deep squats will be the precursors to this type of an injury. Now, how do you know that you have a, a meniscus injury? Often you'll have, a, you'll have swelling within the joint. Mm -hmm. Other times you'll have pain on the inner aspect of your knee. Uh, you may hear a clicking sound sensation or you may actually feel an unstable uh, type of uh, situation within the joint. Now, if you do develop a tear, what is the next step from there? Frequently, the most common thing is to have an examination, and I can usually say that in 95% of the time, I can tell if someone has a meniscus just on the physical exam, and to further make the diagnosis, that other 5% an MRI is very helpful. Now, if you go ahead and have surgery for this injury, what's the recovery time? Often it's anywhere from two to four to six weeks. Uh, I always sort of kid my patients and I say when I operate on Dan Marino, he was back playing in two weeks, but I don't put them in that same <laughs> category. Is there any way to prevent this injury? Uh, not to prevent it completely, but to decrease the probability is to maintain the quad and hamstring strength. Also, I encourage people not to do full squats as they get a little bit older and get into some of the more aggressive type of programs. Well, thanks for being with us here today on Ask the Team Experts. If you have questions for Dr. Cannell or any of our Broward Health sports medicine specialists who are on the sidelines taking care of the pros, you can email your questions to experts at BrowardHealth.org or for more information, log on to BrowardHealthSportsMed.org. I'm Loren Marola and thanks for watching.